34 people are dead, 170 injured. There's still some people missing as two separate terrorist attacks hit Brussels, Belgium that ISIS is claiming responsibility for on March 22nd. 322, an occult day celebrated by many secret societies like the Skull and Bones Society with private secretive Western elites who celebrate this occult number and this day. In this video, we're going to get into some of the hard-hitting truths when it comes to what actually happened in Belgium. As we know, Belgium actually feared, was on edge, that this terrorist attack was going to happen. We have the Turkish president actually saying that these attacks would happen in Belgium just days before they happened. Turkish President Enderon said there's no reason why the bombs that exploded in Anakara could not explode in Brussels or in any other European city. He said this on March 18th and now he's making a public statement saying that one of the Brussels attackers was actually caught in Turkey in June and deported back to Belgium. Enderon says Wednesday that the Belgium authorities released the suspect despite Turkish warnings that he was a foreign fighter fighting in Syria with radical Islamic terrorists to bring down Bashar al-Assad. Enderon did not name the attacker. He said the man was detained at Turkey's border with Syria at Gazetep and that Turkey formally notified Belgium authorities of the deportation on July 14th. He also says that after he was deported, that Brussels ignored, ignored Turkey's warning that the attacker was a militant. We know that the United States has been funding and aiding radical Islamic terrorists inside of Libya and inside of Syria. There's actually ISIS terrorists who are saying we are being funded by the United States. There's a stockpile huge of weapons and arms that the United States sent down to Syria that ISIS is fighting there with right now. Turkey has been supporting ISIS, buying their oil, financing their operations, keeping the border wide open, allowing these foreign fighters to get into Syria to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. This is huge breaking news that I'm not hearing anywhere on the mainstream media. Now, we can't rely on the mainstream media for any, any accountability or even to do their job right. They were actually showing footage of 2011 terrorist attacks and they were saying that this was from Tuesday's Brussels attacks. This is how incompetent, inept, and totally insane the mainstream media is and how they just misinform us of exactly what's happening. Now, one of the strangest stories that I'm hearing from the Brussels attack is the story of Mason Wells, a 19-year-old American Mormon missionary who survived the terrorist attacks in Belgium, but also survived the terrorist attacks in Boston and the Paris attacks. This link will be in the description below so you guys could do your research, but this is just extremely wild and strange to say the least. Now, how are the Belgium authorities, the police forces responding to this huge terrorist attack? Well, there was actually a Belgium teacher who tweeted that Muslim children were actually celebrating the attacks in Brussels. He later received a home visit from the police. He is here on this radio interview saying there were suddenly agents at my door after he tweeted that children were celebrating the attacks inside of Belgium. As we know, the police forces in Europe have been sending their resources, showing up to people's door for tweeting about the mass migration plans that the governments have been implementing inside of Europe. This is how Twitter has been utilizing their resources, going after people critical of liberal governments, meanwhile allowing ISIS accounts on Twitter to be still active and to still promote their ideology. This is how Twitter and the police forces in Europe are dealing with this crisis, which is utterly insane. Now, of course, Bashar al-Assad actually warned us that this would happen. He has been under attack by Western powers and Turkey and a lot of Middle Eastern countries to get him out of power. He predicted that terrorist attacks will be happening in Europe because of the Syrian refugee crisis that's exploding right now that has been created by Western foreign policy. Now, emotions are high during these terrorist attacks, but we have to understand people are just 
emotionally reacting. There's people right now saying this is Bashar al-Assad's fault. They're saying this is Russia's fault. People are saying this is Donald Trump's fault. People in Israel are saying this is because of the Holocaust. People are saying, no, this is all of Islam. Stop, stop. Stop with the emotional reactions here. What we're seeing unfold is the Hegelian dialectic right in front of us. Problem, reaction, solution. The very elites who are causing these problems are sitting on top and laughing at all of us who are being divided among race, among religion, among political affiliations, among sex, and they are winning with just getting more power and control over us. The problem started when the hornet's nest was stirred up with the financing of radical Islamic terrorists in Libya, in Syria, with the overthrow of governments in Iraq, in Afghanistan, the hornet's nest was stirred up. Then the reaction was, we have to help the Syrian refugees, we have to help the Middle Eastern refugees, we have to open up the borders. And now the solution after the hornet's nest is already inside of your house, after they open the door, let the hornets in, is, well, we have to take away all of your basic freedoms, we have to take away all of your rights with the problem that they created, with the reaction that they created, and their solution is more power, is more control, it's less freedom for you, and that's how they're winning against all of us. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. We're going to keep an eye on this very important, huge, global event that had just happened in Brussels. Thank you again for everyone supporting us on Patreon. One dollar a month keeps this information free for you and by you, totally unbiased, not taking any sides, not trying to have an emotional reaction. All the sources for this video will be in the description below so you can fact check everything yourself and make up your own mind. Subscribe. There's going to be a lot more information coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change.